the blood that Jesus shed for me. Way back on Calvary, oh, it's the blood that gives me strength from death.
Join Mount Calvary AME Church for 6 a.m. prayer, Monday through Friday, starting January 4th. Call 1-725-735-9012. Don't miss Bible study on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. right here on Facebook Live. Zooming in His Word returns on January 7th. The topic will be the cost of discipleship. To make your financial contribution of tithes and offerings to the ministry, mission, and message for kingdom building, please utilize one of these four methods. You can mail your gift to Mount Calvary AME Church, P.O. Box, 20416 Towson, Maryland 21286 You can go to our website at www.mountcalvaryame.org and click the Give tab. You can use your electronic device and give through your mobile app. Cash app, the dollar sign M-C-A-M-E-C or Giveify. You can call in your gift with your credit or debit card to 410-296-9474 and ask for Sister Urshel. Thank you for engaging in Ministry of Giving. Good morning. Welcome to Mount Calvary AME Church. Today is the first Sunday in a brand new year. Let us at this time go in and to our worship experience and worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Welcome to 2021. We're delighted that you have joined us today for our worship experience. And as always, we do not take it for granted that you are worshiping with us. My brothers and my sisters, we know that you could be watching, uh, worshiping with any ministry across this country, but you have decided to worship with us today. For that, we are indeed grateful. And we want to let you know that our theme this year is Believe. Believe. We are believing God for, for redemption. We are believing God for, for love. We are believing God for peace. We are believing God for joy. We are believing God for hope. We are believing God. Uh, Psalms 138 and 8 lets us know that God will do everything that God said that God would do. And my brothers and sisters, we believe that God is going to keep his word. Why don't you join us this year? as we put our faith together, as we come together and believe that God is going to do everything that God said that God would do. How good the Lord is. Mount Calvary AME Church, as we look forward to 2021, we want you to know that we are looking forward believing. This year we are banded, we are banded one in union, we are trusting in God's word. If you have not gotten your band with your reminder on it, Psalms 138 and 8, you need to call the church, you need to come by the church because we want you to wear it and wear it all year long as a reminder of God's faithfulness. We are a church that will believe in spite of what we see, we will believe. Can you believe with us? God bless you is our prayer. Let's go forth in 2021. Believe in God. Amen.
thank you this morning, God. You brought us from a mighty long way, from January 1 to December 31st, over into a new year, through trials and tribulations, through pandemics and storms. But God, nevertheless, we are still here. And this morning, we give you honor, glory, and praise. And we just come this morning to say thank you. And we open up this service this morning, and we want to open it up, giving you honor and glory and praise. And so if you would, bow your heads and pray with us this morning. A prayer this morning for bringing us over into a new year. Let us pray. Dear gracious God, we come to you this morning in this brand new year with a brand new spirit and a brand new desire to move forward in this new year, to move forward and not backwards. Last year is gone and with it all the things that have happened, the mistakes that we have made, we're eager to put the past behind us and to press on toward the mark of knowing you, of loving you, of serving you, and making your name known in this coming year. We need you, Lord, because without you, we can't meet the heavy demands of life or the unrelenting pressures that may face us in this new year. We are making a new commitment today, not a New Year's resolution, but a new commitment, a new desire to place you where you always belong, first place in our lives. We come today to make the I wills of the scriptures become our affirmations today. The I will trust you, Lord. The I will praise you, Lord. The I will follow you, Lord. We will replace fear with faith on this morning, Lord knowing you are always with us and with you on our side, it will be a victorious year in 2021. We lay down our broken armor, our rusty nails, our self-defenses, and every excuse we've used for not living victoriously. We purge our bad habits, free us from wrong expectations, and fill our hearts, our souls, and our minds with praiseworthy thoughts and actions. We want to exchange our past disappointments for your divine appointments this year. Our life is your life, God. Our relationships belong to you. Everything we have is yours, Jesus. Set our feet on our right path this year and grant wisdom so we can make the right choices that will honor you. Let us see others as you see them, as precious ones that you have created. Renew the gifts and abilities you've so generously given us so that we can bless others as you have blessed us. Lord, we realize our desire for perfection in some time is sometimes misplaced. Our, our relationships with you don't depend on our performance, but upon your presence in our lives. We will make mistakes, but we don't have to be perfect. You already know you have already made us acceptable in your sight because of your death and resurrection. You've covered our past, present, and future. You have given us everything we could possibly need for the coming year and in you we have been made complete lord help us to accept our faults and make you a mirror of our own image we want to reflect you today tomorrow and forevermore because of your love and your price that you paid for our sins we can not only enjoy a victorious new year but a triumphant life lord you put a want to in our lives and in our hearts and as the calendar turns another page in this brand new year. We want more than ever to live it for you. We look to you for our hope, for our joy and our peace in this year. Give us the courage to do all that you ask for us. Make us brave to not do what isn't from you, God. Help us to believe, God, for there is no battle in our life that is too great with you in our life knowing that there is victory in you, Jesus. And the people of God said, amen, amen, and amen. Amen, 
Amen. We will now have our morning scripture, and our scripture this morning will come from the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 3 through 14. Again, that is the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 3 through 14. And it reads, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love he predestined us to be adopted and his sons through Jesus Christ in according with his pleasure and will to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. In him, we have redemption through his love for the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding. And he made known to us the mystery of his will according to the good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ to be Put perfect in effect when the times will he will have reached their fulfillment to bring all things in heaven and on earth together under one head, even Christ. Verse 11, in him we were all chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will in order that we who were the first to hope in Christ might be for the praise of his glory. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Having believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his word. Amen. Good morning, Mount Calvary. This is a new day and a new year, and the Lord is still worthy to be praised. David said in Psalms 107, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. This morning, we want to sing songs that reflect how good the Lord is and how we feel about him. We say this morning, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Not because I've been so faithful. Not because I've been so good. You've always been there for me to provide my every need. You were there when I was lonely. You were there in all my pain. God in my footsteps, shelter from the rain. It was you who made my life complete. You owe to me my everything, and that is why I sing. Jesus, I love you because you care. I couldn't imagine. were in there. Jesus, I love you, I love you, because you care. I couldn't imagine if you were in there. Loving arms protect me. You're 
shelter me from harm. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. My strong tower, my dearest and best friend. Ooh, and it was you. Shall we bow, shall we pray? Gracious Lord and our God, and once again, we do thank you and we do praise you for yet another day. We thank you, God, for not only another day, but for another year. We realize, no God, that you have been good to us. In spite of all that has transpired in our lives, we still give you glory. We still give you praise. Now, God, we do pray that in this preaching moment, it would be more thee and less of me. God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer, and the people of God said, Amen. Uh, this morning, I want to call your attention to uh, Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Uh, Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. The New King James Version of the Bible has these words recorded in Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Uh, listen for the word of the Lord, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. For a few minutes this morning, I simply want to tag this text for preaching, better is coming. Better is coming coming. My brothers and my sisters, my sisters and my brothers, I'm confident that you will agree with me that most people laugh when we talk about making New Year's resolutions. For the attitude seem to be, what is the use when we are just going to break them anyway? So as a result of, we don't talk about making New Year New Year's resolutions very often. However, I am of the opinion uh, that could be a mistake. For I believe, I believe that there is value in making New Year's resolutions. For one thing, they remind us that there are areas in our lives that need to be improved 
upon. Although we are not perfect, we are not what we used to be, and we are not what we need to be. There are some things that we need to improve on in our lives, but in order for change to change those things, we got to face those areas where we need change. And making resolutions can sometimes help us to make those changes. Another thing is the making of resolutions remind us uh, that we are responsible for what we make of our lives. Uh, they can stop us from going through life blaming other people and began assuming responsibility for what we make of our own lives. Therefore, on this third day of January 2020, resolve better is coming and believe better is coming. Today's text is found in Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Paul writes this letter to the Christians at Rome, and God has preserved it for us in order for us to refocus our attention and our priorities. It is interesting that Paul says in the text, uh, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. He does not say be transformed by joining a church. He does not say be transformed by attending church or visiting the sick or uh, those who are in prison or getting involved in a ministry. But he says, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The renewing of your mind involves a metamorphosis of the mind. Uh, that is, your understanding must become different from the systems and structures of the world. In other words, a metamorphosis of the mind means that change, you got to have a change of mindset, which begins with the desire to take on the attitude or the mind of Christ. As a result of having a renewed mind, a, a metamorphosis of the mind, your, uh, your attitude, activities, and conversation will change to become Christ-like. And, and, and this is important because regardless of what people say, you cannot change your conduct until you change your mindset. Uh, so why change? Why a change of mind? Why, why a change of mind? Because your actions are uh, initiated in your mind. Uh, the late Reverend Dr. Jacob Cephas Jarrett would always say, the mind is a mighty mental force. It can only be seen by what it does. Uh, so why mind, a change of mind? Because you can refrain from conforming to the ways of the world uh, through certain behavior. Uh, but that is changing your conduct. Uh, and, and, and it's not changing your mindset. Yeah, you can change conduct without changing mindset. But your mindset controls your conduct. Your conduct does not control your mindset. Uh, therefore, in order to renew your mind, a transformation must take place from the inside out and not from the outside in. In other words, you got to undergo a change not of your outward form but of your inward self. I, I mean the very essence of your being. A change has got to occur on the inside. I, I, I'm trying to tell you this because in order for 
better to come, uh, you've got to have a transformation of your mind. In the midst of COVID, in the midst of despair, despondency, divorce, death, grief, bad health, funny money, in the midst of trouble, trials, tribulation, and trauma, in the midst of loneliness, anxiety, setback, job loss, uh, uh, jacked up finances, bad relationships, uh, uh, you've got to have a transformation of your mind. So it's better, if, if better is to come, it's going to come when you renew your mind and when you decide to, when you decide to walk by faith and not by sight. Oh, can I tell you, can I tell you that, that the key is to, to renew your mind. Uh, don't stay focused on the very difficult things of life, but, but focus on the glory of God that's on its way into your life. Uh, so it may be rough right now. It may be tough at the moment, but uh, it's leading you to better. It's leading you to better. Your situation may look permanent, uh, and, and, and it is not easy to think that it will always, it's easy to think that it will always be this way, but can I tell you better is coming. Uh, just because it seems permanent to you does not mean that it's permanent to God. Uh, uh, that's why if you're going to renew your mind, you, uh, you got to monitor what you allow it to go into your mind. In other words, you got to be careful who you hang out with uh, because negative minded folk can wear you down and, and they can wear you out and, and if you are not careful you would catch their negativity. Israel missed the promised land the first time because the majority brought back a negative report. Whereas Nehemiah said, we built the walls because the people did not listen uh, to the negative folk, but they had a mind. Oh, help me somebody. They had a mind to work. So you got to renew your mind. Shake off your shabby habits. Uh, uh, crucify your lust. Kick that the, the filth from your mind. Snap the shackles that are keeping you bound uh, renew your mind for until you resolve to renew your mind you will never experience the, your finest hour uh, you will never reach your peak you will never know the fullness of the, of the presence and the power of the Lord in your life uh, that's why you got to renew your mind and when you renew your mind you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that better is coming uh, it does not matter what it looks like but better is coming uh, uh, but it is coming Coming not only when you renew your mind, but better is coming when you walk by faith and and not by sight. Uh, we all face some setbacks in life. We we all go through trials and disappointments and losses. Ah, uh, but when you walk by faith and not by sight, you know better is coming. It, 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 it takes walking by faith to see better coming. Yeah, it takes walking by faith to see better coming. Uh, uh, David had, David had that experience for he said uh, in Psalm 27, I have fainted unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait I say on the Lord. Uh, uh, David, David had a renewed mind because he had already prayed, Lord create within me a clean heart and renewing me the right spirit and restore the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your free spirit and I will teach transgressors your ways. Yeah, uh, he already had a re re renewed mind but yet in Psalms 27 uh, uh, he said I have fainted uh, I have fainted unless I have believed that, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Is there anybody here who's living on David Street. I know your mind is renewed. I mean, you you have church. You you tune in to church. You you work in church. You make your way to church. Ah, but the pressures of life sometimes makes you feel like you just want to give up. But I declare that's why David said, "Wait on the Lord." That's what happens when you renew your mind. Yeah, you got to walk by faith and not by sight. Because sometimes you won't be able to see your way. Sometimes you may not be able to see which way to go. But uh, David said, be a good courage and walk by faith and not by sight. Because you know that you're 
about walking by yourself. Uh, uh, if you're going to renew your mind, not only must you uh, uh, not only must you understand, not only must you understand that, that you got to surrender yourself to God, uh, uh, not only must you understand that you got to serve the Savior, uh, but you got to learn how to walk by faith and not by sight. Uh, uh, that is every now and then you got to permit yourself uh, uh, to walk down memory lane and, and recall the struggles that you have already survived. Uh, yeah, you got to look over your shoulder and remember the troubles that you have already come through, uh, the heartaches that you have already walked through, uh, the haters that tried to kill you, uh, the trap that folk tried to set for you. Uh, but you can say with a renewed mind, uh, if the Lord brought me through on yesterday, uh, uh, then the Lord can bring me through on today. Uh, if the Lord brought me through once, uh, then the Lord can bring me through twice. Uh, uh, if he did this, uh, then I know that he can do that. Uh, the enemy brought the it uh, up upon you to try to set you up uh, and try to set you back. Uh, but he didn't realize that he was setting you up uh, for God to show up in your life. Uh, so renew your mind because better is coming. Uh, walk by faith and not by sight uh, because better is coming. Uh, better opportunities. Uh, better health. Uh, better finances. Uh, better relationships. Uh, better is coming. Uh, better is coming coming because it's only temporary better is coming God is opening doors God is making ways better is coming you're coming out of your depression into joy coming out of your bad breaks into the favor of God coming out of sickness coming out of death coming out of loneliness coming out of anxiety coming out of addiction coming out of legal trouble God is getting ready he's planning your coming out party because better is coming yes when I think about the goodness of the Lord and all that he's done for me my soul yes it does my soul Christ glory hallelujah and that's why Jesus is all the world to me my life my joy my all he is my strength oh yes he is from day to day when I'm sad Yes, better is coming. Better is coming. Better is coming. I declare, I believe it. I believe that better is coming. It can't be this way always. Because better is coming. Renew your mind. Walk by faith and not by sight. And you will discover that better is coming. My brothers and my sisters, if by chance you did not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior, on this, the first day of the new year, I declare that it's a good time to give your life to him. For he has already declared that if you just come, believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that you shall be saved. He died on Calvary to save you today. He died on Calvary to save you today. He, he got up on the third day morning in order that you may have a seat in heaven. And he's alive and well, and he has all power in his hands. And so if you don't know him today, the day is a good day to give your life to Christ. And all you really got to do is today is just say, Lord, I surrender. I surrender. I surrender my life to you. I surrender. I surrender. And if you surrender, you give your life to him today, then in the comment section, just type, I surrender. 
Maybe somebody who simply needs a church home, I declare I would love to be your pastor. The members of Mount Calvary would love to help you grow and become all that God wants you to be. And all you got to write in the comment section of the book, it's just, I belong, I belong, I belong. <sighs> if by chance you've fallen by the wayside of life, you are what the church calls a bike slider. The Bible declares that God is married to the bike slider. Just because you strayed away from God, God did not stray away from you. And because of the fact that you want to come back to him now, he, he wants you to come back and he welcomes you with open arms. In the comment section, all you got to put in there is just say, I'm coming home. My brothers and sisters, today is a good day to get connected up with the body of believers called the church. Let us pray. God, our Father, we thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Even now, God, we thank you for the visitation of your Holy Spirit uh, in this place today. God, we stand on tiptoes as we, on the first Sunday in January in a brand new year, 2021. God, we believe that better is coming. And now, God, for that man or that woman, that boy or girl who has given their life to you today. We pray for them today, oh God, that you not only would you fill them with your Holy Spirit, but God, we pray that you would empower them and we pray, God, that you would lead them to a place where they can work out their soul salvation in a church. We pray, God, that they will become everything that you have created them to be. Now, God, we pray your blessings upon us now, not because we are great and mighty people, but because you are great and mighty God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you. I declare it's been a good day. It's been a great day. It's been a mighty, mighty good day. And I declare we praise God for it. And we praise God for you. Now may he continue to bless you and keep you. May he continue to smile upon you. May he continue to be gracious unto you. Today, tomorrow, and forever and the people of God said together amen. Amen. amen God bless you have a wonderful week amen. we will see you the next Lord's Day thank you for joining our virtual worship experience and may God continue to bless and keep you until the next Lord's Day be well and be safe